For many cottagers, sending the flag up the flagpole every weekend is standard procedure upon arrival to the lake. But how many of you are doing this incorrectly? Here are my top tips for flying the flag. First up, respect the flag every time you raise it. Experts will tell you that you should actually have a moment of silence while the flag is going up the pole, which really is never a bad idea in cottage country. You should also take off your hat if you're wearing one. Second, don't fly a ripped, faded, or tattered flag. If it's dirty, wash it. You can throw it in the washing machine. Next, ideally, the Canadian flag should have its own pole. But some people are keen to fly another flag with it, perhaps the flag of their ancestors. If that's the case, you should always fly the Canadian flag on top. However, there are so many exceptions to this rule. It's best to check it out on Canada.ca and search for flag etiquette to make sure you're not heading for a faux pas. Fourth, though it might be tempting to do so for your annual Canada Day picnic, don't use your Canadian flag as a tablecloth or cut it up to make decorative bunting, or worse, a bathing suit. Those are all signs of disrespect and should be avoided. Lastly, when it does get worn out, dispose of your flag correctly. You can actually just put it in the garbage, or you can technically burn it, that's not illegal, or even bury it in the ground, all while singing O Canada, of course. <laughs>